Ah, yes, the San Francisco market, what is happening? Well, I get that question, I mean, year round, any year, but I think this year I'm getting it more than, all, than more than before because we had a really crappy market last year, I have to say. As soon as the rates jumped, because money was so cheap before and it really fueled you know, the marketplace, in my you know soon 25 year career you know anything over i mean definitely over 7 million was always all cash until the rates got so cheap that money you know became free where you could borrow the money and make more money in the marketplace you know so to, to earn you know a 5% return and your mortgage was 2% so you were like getting paid to borrow money. It was crazy. So then we started seeing loans in the high end. And it really just, right, exploded. And as soon as the rates got raised, right, it, it really put a kibosh on the market. And it just, you know, buyers tend to operate in, in a herd mentality. And when the herd starts to think, okay, it's not a time to buy, everybody kind of clams up. So last year, the transaction numbers were way down values got dinged pretty good. And as soon as we turned the page this year to 2024, it just felt like everybody felt more freer. And I, I can't explain why, I, I don't know, but it just it's just turning the page. And so 2024 has been you know, a, a, a better market. I'm not calling it gangbusters because it, it's not, but it's really more of a normal, you know, healthy market, meaning there are buyers out ready to transact as long as they feel like there's value in what they're buying. So if the pricing hits sort of the, the right tone with the buyers today, you'll get a transaction. And, and you know, how, the high end, you know, is always a little bit funny, but I mean, up to 10 to 12, maybe 14 million, like that, segment has been relatively you know healthy this year much better than last year so i mean the market's pretty good right now and the springtime this is when we sell the most properties over five million every year year in and year out um and this year is no exception it's just again a little bit less than than what we've seen when the market really is cranking. So market's fine. Summertime now is here. July tends to be a little bit quieter, but with the, the digital age firmly, you know, and where we're at, you know, I'm finding that the seasonality of San Francisco real estate is getting a, a little bit more blurred, meaning before it really was spring market, fall market, everything else is dead. <laughs> You know, now we're seeing a, a, a bit more of a year round market, I would say, uh, since all the information about new listings pops into your phone the instant, you know, it hits the market. So buyers are just, you know, they're ready to transact at any time. A motivated, willing buyer will buy on Christmas Eve if they have to, if, the, if it's the right property. So there's a little bit less seasonality happening so i think this summer will be a bit more busier than you know normal i would say and moving into the fall of of this of 2024 it's going to be a busy year i know that inventory will come up because right now we have zero basically there is so little on the market i look at the tuesday tour the broker sheet the bro broker tour sheet on how many pages there are as my quick sort of check on how much inventory we have. This last Tuesday tour we just had, we had nine pages, nine. And, and back in the day when it was a more, I don't know, robust inventory, we would have up to 35 pages, which wasn't like crazy, it wasn't. So now we have nine pages, which is zero, like nothing. So inventory will come up, but the buyers are ready to go. So I think as we move into August and into September and into the fall selling season, it'll just crank up. And obviously we have the, the, the election year and people are always like, oh, is it a good time to sell or buy or what's happening? I mean, it does create some, I don't know, uh, side 
things, right? Because it's kind of a big deal, the, the election. But the numbers show traditionally that even on an election cycle year, for presidential election cycle year, it doesn't impact the real estate. So I, I'm i saying it's gonna be a good fall, like totally. I mean, sellers now have understood that they, for them to transact, they need to meet the market. The market's there, but the sellers have to be able to meet the market with their pricing. And if they do, they'll transact. So in that regard, I mean, we're hustling, we're selling stuff, we're bringing things on really sort of in August more than anything. July will be a, a little bit quiet, but August we're, we're rip roaring and ready to get after it. So I think transactions will increase and we're going to have a good end of summer and fall season.